Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 8, Anne Spencer. Although she is less known than such contemporaries as Langston Hughes or County Cullen, Anne Spencer's contributions to both American poetry and Black cultural uplift during the first half of the 20th century are immense. Some of her relative lack of celebrity can be attributed to the fact that she lived in central Virginia for nearly almost all of her life, during which Harlem, Chicago, Washington, and Philadelphia were the meccas of black literary culture. Spencer's poems appeared in some of the most prominent publications associated with the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s, including James Weldon Johnson's The Book of American Negro Poetry and Alan Locke's anthology The New Negro. Although she published only a handful of poems after 1930, Spencer remained deeply involved with the NAACP and other civil rights organizations until her death in 1975. Here is her 1923 poem, White Things, a grisly, if also beautifully lyrical, description of the destructive nature of the belief that whiteness is inherently superior. White Things. Most things are colorful things, the sky, earth, and sea. Black men are most men, but the white are free. White things are rare things, so rare, so rare, they stole from out a silvered world. Somewhere. Finding earth plains fair plains, save greenly grassed, they strewed white feathers of cowardice as they passed. The golden stars with lances fine, the hills all red and darkened pine, they blanched with their wand of power and turned the blood in a ruby rose to a poor white poppy flower. They pired a race of black, black men and burned them to ashes white, Then laughing, a young one claimed a skull, for the skull of a black is white, not dull, but a glistening awful thing. Made it seems for the school to swing in the face of God with all his might, and swear by the hell that sired him, man maker, make white. For more information about Spencer and more examples of her work, follow the link at the top of this page to the Poetry Foundation's website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio.